Hello everybody, Defense here, and welcome back to RL Craft. I am currently paused. I thought I would uh, take some time to do some exploring and some leveling up off camera. I'm currently fo currently focusing on leveling up my magic because I was told about a summoner staff and I need a higher level magic ability to do that. And I uh, came up here. Started clearing out some ores, and there was a small explosion, another something trying to kill me. And these other guardian dudes don't seem to be doing anything. Oh, nope, there they go. Now they're on the attack. Wow, I haven't actually seen these things work before. Can I get in this fight? I don't think I can. They're way up there and going away. Alright, well, that's honestly why I was starting the episode right now. <laughs> uh, we have run into a cinder and an afrit so far. Uh, those were a little bit earlier. I was trying to go back and get my gear from when we died in the last episode. If you guys remember that. But, uh, yeah, there was nothing there. Uh, I couldn't find anything, and I just didn't want to waste my time trying to find other stuff. So was this guy in here, or did he just, like, shoot at me because he saw me? That's what I don't know. I also have a little bit of armor. I've got some armor from a chest. I'll show you guys where on the way back. Oh, that's a good grab. Thank you. I will take this because I don't have one and I don't want to waste the iron on it. No and no. But yeah, this wasn't bad. There was uh, four hay bales in here that I grabbed. And what do we got? Yeah, we need one more level and then we'll be up to seven. And then after that, I need to get to eight. So it does not seem like I can... Oh, hello, guys. They make very loud noises. What do we got? A butcher. I'm assuming they killed him. They're back. So, good job, guys. I haven't really played around in the cold areas because of the fact I don't want to freeze to death. So this is new. Uh, we are going to end up doing some mining today. I just want to try and get a couple of bits leveled up. One of them is the magic, and the other one is my attack. Because I made a new weapon, and then found out that I can't actually use it. So, I want to try and figure out how to do that. What is this? A Yale. <clears throat> that thing is creepy looking. Is that the thing buying, or is there a sheep around? Nope, it's this thing. <laughs> the creepy mountain dwelling goat creatures? Monster? I don't even know what you technically call that, so we're just gonna leave it alone. This just looks deadly. Really? No dragon? I'm fine with that, but really? Right, get back here. And I have just been using the XP once I get it, because I can level up faster. So we need 8 XP, uh, 8 levels, and we'll be uh, good to start using that. And then I think I have to get to 8 on attack as well. Which is a lot of levels to get to that point. So I'm going to get back to doing a little grinding. I was kind of hoping for a fun little fight there, but it does not seem like we're going to get it. So, yeah, grind some levels out for me and when we come back we will go underground and start doing a bit of mining that was terrifying I didn't get to catch a few guys but whatever uh geonac is it, it it popped out and killed me What what is a geonac I gotta see what just ate my face I was down mining by the way um uh, I'm gonna assume it's elemental a geonac yeah this thing <laughs> I didn't do any damage to it. Uh, brutal earth elementals commonly found by unsuspec unsuspecting miners while disturbing the earth. Well, I was very much unsuspecting, and it hurt. <laughs> I think he killed me in like two or three hits. Um, this is why I want to get my stuff up to eight, which I did not get. I chose to hold off. I want I started pushing on mining instead. So that I can use an iron pickaxe. Uh, I have gotten to the point where I can do the fossil digger. Which will allow me a chance to get more coal. With an iron pickaxe. 
Uh, but I cannot use an iron pickaxe until I hit level 8. So, let's just, um... Just grab five of these, and we are just gonna head straight downstairs. I can only assume with how warm it is every time my guy's up here, it's gotta be summer. My dude just keeps getting cooked every time he's up here. I'm also really hoping this thing is despawned, because all of my stuff is down there. Well, I shouldn't really say all my stuff, just the stuff that I just had on me from that little mining expedition. I have uh, two of the heart crystal thingies here. And some gold here. Uh, let's see. I will just take this as a just in case. But it's down here. As I said, let's hope he's not here. I'm not seeing him. But yeah, not even kidding. Scared the pants off me. Terrified me. Because I've just been hanging out doing some mining, you know? And then just plop, he blows through the wall and just starts eating my face. Let's rearrange this better. You go, you go. You go there. Yeah, as I said, I got a couple hits with my sword, but uh, nothing compared to the amount of damage he did to me. So, we'll keep an eye out for that in the future. Hopefully, I don't run into them too, too often. The upside is, he uh, plucked all of this for me. What are the odds that he breaks out again? No, not yet. But yeah, terrifying. <laughs> I did just find out that I do have specializations. I was sitting there thinking, I was like, I'm amazed that there isn't a way to get any bonus XP from this kind of stuff like there was in Sprout. And I thought, hey, let's click L, and lo and behold, I have to get to level 5 first, which we are almost there. We would have been closer, but uh, we died. I was, oh, there we go. L, let's see, mining, plus XP from ore, crafting, XP from crafting, or combat. Ooh. Um. The XP from crafting actually does sound real nice. I'm going to make a choice here, guys. And let me know if you think I was crazy. Okay. I'm going to go with combat. I really want to go with crafting. Tell tell me what you guys would have picked. Tell me what you have picked if you have played. But I'm going to go with combat. I know it's kind of stupid with the fact that I'm down in the mines, not choosing mining. But I don't really want to spend all my time down here. I would love to be able to go up and, you know, explore and do some uh, some stuff above the ground. I'm just down here because everyone had, one, recommended it, and two, I had forgotten about the heart crystals. I, I did not know we could mine them. I th thought we could only find the bits for them and kind of be gifted them. But then I remembered it's not sprout, so you can't be gifted them. And you got to be able to get them somehow. So it looks like we're going to be able to mine them. Uh, do I need... Boom. Oh, that only puts me at seven. Okay, so I need more XP. But yeah, it's been pretty good so far. Actually, let me go and drop this in the cooker just so it's XP sitting and waiting for me. And then we're actually just going to start a new tunnel. I am running low on torches. Sorry, I thought I saw some coal back there. But yeah, there's some gold in the ceiling there, which I can't grab. There's some lapis on the floor down there. So we'll do that and uh, da, da, we'll just throw that in there. You know what? Where is. Hmm. I was right. My canteen, it'd be empty. It's fine though, because we don't actually do a lot of actions down here, like a lot of movement and stuff. So I don't end up using a ton of my saturation or my thirst, which is nice. It also seems to be a neutral temperature down here, which is even better. Because I'm not worrying about any of that craziness. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to continue doing some mining. I'm going to get us to eight. I'm going to grab some stuff. And then we're going to look at doing uh, a few other bits. Again, let me know what you guys think of my choice choosing... What did I choose? Uh, combat. Oh. 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 I did not know about this. Okay. <laughs> Before we go... 
Level cost, 11. Level cost, 5. 5. Okay, well, I did choose specialization crafting. So I'm curious. I have, oh, well, I have no XP. So let me gather up some XP. I'm going to see uh, what fun we can have with this. So I've given it a good look over, guys, and it looks like I can take from any section. The only difference is this one here, I gain more experience from mobs. That is it. It does not look like I can increase it. Unless it's going to, yeah, it doesn't give me an option to increase that at all. So we can't increase the bonus XP. Uh, but I can still upgrade stuff in any of the sections. Which is nice. Uh, most of it's kind of whatever. Like if you need more flint, like that's good. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. Plus 30% speed per mining level. Uh, where was it? I think it's... No, there was, I think it was, yeah, this one here. Uh, no, what was, there was one that, like, increased the random tick speed around you, which was insane. Prospecting, speed per level, sprint speed. I can't remember what it was, but I remember looking at one of these, and it was going to increase the random tick speed of stuff around you, which, as I said, I thought was insane. So I currently have 11 levels because I wanted to look at uh, random crits, and, or trying to see about, you know, getting multiple levels in something. The crits does sound nice. Randomly doubles damage output for direct attacks plus 5% chance per level. It looks like it's going to cost me 11 to increase this once. Whereas archery, not that I really do a ton of it right now. It just says draw bowstring back faster. So if I could spam shots, that'd be great. Uh, and then this one here just arrows travel faster. So if you want to go to the archery route, there's that. I'm considering something along the stealth line. So we have stealth. Uh, sneaking decreases mob detection range, minus 5% sight range per level. We could already get minus 10% straight off the bat, unless it increases level cost when we level it up. I don't know that yet. But this one branches out into two sets. So we have stealth damage. Increases sneak attack damage, plus 15% projectile damage per level, plus 30% melee damage per level, cost of 11. So that one would be good. And then sneak speed. Increase sneaking speed, 10% speed per level. So the stealth and the random crits are the one I'm kind of looking at. Uh, mainly because this one does uh, direct damage output, so plus 10%. So if I do 10 damage, it only gives me a plus 1. But if I go and fight the Maka, that's two hits. Because they only have 22 health. I'm assuming that's what they mean by that. So I'm kind of... I'm going to I'm gonna hit this stealth one first. Because I want to see, does it go up? It does go up in cost. So now... Hold on. What? No. It didn't... Hold on. Oh, because I haven't clicked done yet. Oh, what just happened? Everything around me just moved. Alright, so if I click done... Okay, it did take the levels. Okay. So now if I come in here, I do have the option of stealth damage. Obviously it costs 11, so I don't have the option to increase it, but... Uh, oh, I don't have the option to decrease this either. There's probably something I need to have or a certain level I need to get to before I can change that kind of stuff. But I do have six levels. And now we have seven or eight. And <laughs> this is the downside. There's a lot of stuff to be throwing my XP at now. Because I have all of these here. Oop, wrong one. And all of these here. And everything takes XP. <laughs> all of it. But I'm thinking uh, this might help us a bit more. The This set here will allow us to use better tools and armor. Which will be nice, but this seems to have a direct input on our attack damage and, you know, ability to move around unseen. And to be honest, I am going to up this one more time. I know that we could hang out and get three more levels and pop our crit. But I think this is going to be a, a decent way to do it. We're at level 2 of 10. And that does put it at the same cost of this guy here. So uh, let's do it. And that puts me at 1. 
this episode so far has been full of many surprises many many surprises and i think i'm gonna hop off camera for a bit i want to grind out some levels and see if we can really do anything with what we got so let me grab some of my bits from down here uh we'll grab that iron and bring it up that that i got two heart crystals by the way guys so we're gonna have that i am actually gonna leave that down here and that down here not that we really need it oh and we'll leave that um i think that'll be good but yeah we we're up to three heart crystals i think and how many do I need? I need nine to make a heart. And I think that gives me either one or two more hearts. I can never remember, actually. Let's double check. Uh, increase. Oh, it just says increase maximum health. It doesn't tell me how much. It's probably only by one heart. But if you guys do know, let me know in the uh, comments as well. I know a lot of things for the comments today, guys. A lot of things. But yeah, the, uh, the perks are nice. The other stuff we just did was nice. But uh, I want to see what else we can do because it's pretty crazy. Hey, bud, you're in my way. <clears throat> These guys just like to pop up when I'm trying to mine. Well, this guy really didn't pop up. He just kind of popped in. Now I'm on fire. I don't even know what I got from him. I don't think I got nothing from him. I might actually die. Penetration. Oh, I'm really hot. Would you, would you stop burning me? Well, there we go. We fought an Afrit. Oh, I was still standing in the fire. <laughs> that was funky looking fire. It also didn't destroy nothing. Not that I'm worried about it destroying stuff. Yeah, we found a ravine. There was an Afrit in here. I shot some fireball down there too. But yeah, we've been doing a bit of mining. I have been grinding out some stuff. There's some redstone down there, but there's also a chupacabra. He definitely just fell in the lava. Definitely just fell in the lava. Oh, there's some heart crystal down there, too. I'm up to four heart crystals. What is that thing? Yo, bro, what are you? Oh, he's in the, he's in the lava, too. <laughs> I don't know what they are, but I also found a new ore. And it's only when I get a certain distance away, it seems. Uh, silver ore. It's that or it's just really rare. I don't really know yet. But it's going to be uh, something to play with. But we are sitting almost ready. What are we looking at? Um, we've got five levels. One more uh, level to get attack eight, which will allow me to use my new tool. Oh, that is the wrong button. I wanted L. Um, I have not upgraded anything else here yet. I have been considering archery because of the boost to uh, the range damage here. Yeah, 15 projectile damage per level. So already, even if I only do one damage, I automatically do 16 damage. So I'm kind of considering running a bow at the same time because i think that'd be better and also i was looking at it with the and i doubt this will work because it's minecraft but with this here arrow speed i'm pretty sure that uh if something goes faster in real life it has more weight behind it you know if you take a one pound object and move it at 10 miles an hour versus a one pound object at 100 miles an hour it does more force damage and i doubt that'll work in relation to this you know being minecraft uh so i am curious and i do kind of want to test it i just don't know a good way to test said idea so i'm gonna have to play around with it but i don't think we're gonna do that right now boom Oop, that was just the place loading right yeah yeah i'm just gonna say it was the place loading just grab some of this i want to grab a couple more levels because I do want to uh, grab the crit if we can. And this, oop, I am actually very low on water. Let's get a quick drink. This plus everything that's sitting in here should be good for us. Is anything? Okay, yeah, we've got the head and the body a bit damaged. Yeah, we've got <laughs> we've got some damage across the board, guys. Ugh. All right. Four silver ingots. 
Put one of those in there. 30 iron ingots. Put some of those in there. And let's make another quick furnace. Why not? Why not? Also, I know you guys haven't really gotten to see a ton today, but it's honestly been a lot in the episodes. One, two, three. Yeah, that'll work. So it's been pretty good so far. And I, as I said, I do apologize. There may have been a lot of stuff you haven't been able to see. And I do apologize, but we will kind of catch up on all of it a little bit more as we uh, continue on towards the future. I am curious if this is even going to be worth using. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. So they just uh, most of the stuff seems to be the same as iron, except for the fact I need magic to do it. Uh, hmm. What do we got? A silver throwing knife, throwing axe, spear, a silver saber. I may build one of those. Actually, what was the tool we were going to use today? Was that uh, a flanged mace? I have to increase my agility. I'm trying to look for the thing that I had already made. I think I had made one of these, but out of something different? No, it was this here. A glaive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, undead bone. I think I'm going to make it out of silver because I only need attack four instead of attack eight, and I need magic two, and it gives me an undead bonus damage. So plus 50% weapon bonus damage against undead foes um, and to make this I need string I doubt I have any string down here so actually looking through everything I think I'm gonna go with the silver halberd I have used a halberd in the past and I actually do like it and it does a lot of damage that's been the upside and most of what I've been dying to have been undead don't get me wrong it's been like a dragon and such stuff like that but the biggest upside to this over the glaive and the sword is it is slightly slower than the sword. And I think it's the same speed as the glaive. But it does twice as much damage. And on top of that, it does 50% bonus damage against undead. Uh, we also can break shields, which a lot of zombies end up carrying shields or a blocking item. As far as I've seen, it's been more common on them. And I have a wider range so I can uh, reach more things. And that only requires attack four and that too. So, we has an upgrade. Let's grab all of our XP. There we go. Now I need to go L, combat, and I am going to go for random crits. So we have uh, a 5% chance to randomly double my damage output from direct attacks. And then I do also have this, uh, increase your direct damage output plus 10% direct damage per level. So this thing does 10 damage. Uh, if it's against, well, we'll say, uh, actually, if I remember correctly, it said plus 100%, right? Plus 50%. So if we do 15 damage, we'll get an extra 1.5 if we're fighting on something that is undead. Which uh, honestly makes me pretty happy about the whole concept. So let's dump some stuff off in here. Stuff that I really don't need. We'll keep that. And that. Well, not really stuff that I don't need, but stuff I don't mind losing if we go up here and die. Did I not click done? I did not click done. There we go. I was like, I still have levels. But yeah, as you'll see, my health is not going up. That name, name bar is too long to want to fight. But uh, yeah, my health bar is not going up because of related injuries here. Uh, sleeping restores 50% of max health. So I'm assuming sleeping will help with some of that. But I think that's what I need the bandages and such for. So we'll have to check those out in the near future. But I want to go up. It's probably going to be night with my luck. It is not, but it does look a bit dreary out. Oop, there was something to fight. Giving me fear. Where are all the villagers? Okay, there they are. I was going to say, did this thing kill all the villagers? I would have been very unhappy if that had happened. Alright. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's really much around. That fight was actually pretty simple. Aside from the fear, I'd say that fight was honestly very, very easy. I'm not really seeing anything else. Well, this thing's not undead, but let's kill it anyway. Wow.
What did we get? 12 eggs. A gold nugget, an acorn, some rotten flesh, and I probably got the seeds from whacking something. Actually, and I also don't remember if I talked about this. I'm getting XP from harvesting wheat. And I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to normally be getting. So, that's another thing to add. If you guys know anything on that, let me know. But yeah, I think this is going to be a good point to wrap it up. And I do hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. As always, if you have any ideas, uh, answers to any of the questions I've asked, any of that, or just want to say hello, feel free to uh, say so in the comments down below. But as I said, with that, I want to thank you for stopping in. I hope you did enjoy, and I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.